So Brian, I know we're going to talk today about a business card application. Mm -hmm. um, I've got one, I brought it in, I sent you the file, looks like you've printed it out ahead yep. of time. Um, business cards are a tough application mm -hmm. for most of the cl clients I serve. Um, it's, but it's an, a really important application. It's important because for them, it's an opportunity to open the conversation up to other applications. Right. For the client themselves, it's really critical because it represents their brand. Mm -hmm. So it's their business. Right? right. So if you think about anything more personal than that, you, you really can't come up with something. Well, Derek, you, you've given me a tough application, right? And this is the reason why you would want to buy a Xerox production press, right? This is this is a business card, but it has a photograph on it. Mm -hmm. So, and I can see it was it was put together by a designer, right? So this designer is going to be very color, color critical. And they're going to be looking for a lot of features on this uh, job that I can do easily and I can do with my press. I've taken this file and I've imposed it on a 1218 sheet, right? Okay. So, but before we run that, this is 300 GSM. Uh, what I have done is I've created a paper profile. We have something called SIQA, S-I-Q-A, Simple Image Quality Adjustment. And what it does is it actually creates a unique paper profile for that. So my front to back registration is going to be dead on. Also what we have on the press is uh, density uniformity. What we don't want to do is we don't want to run this job and find the registrations off or as we cut it, find out the green in Lauren's dress doesn't matter, doesn't match. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, density uniformity from inboard to outboard on the press. It's going to be done automatically. Okay. Before we do that, I'm going to run this on a J75 that has an inline spectrophotometer. And what I'm going to do is simply push a button and the press is going to be calibrated. So Lauren's file is going to print the same way color-wise every time we run that job. And we're going to do it simply and I'm going to show you a way that you can actually make money when you run business cards if you use the right tools. Great. So Brian, I uh, understand now how the machine gets set up. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's great that Xerox has thought about all of those uh, tough implications. So talk to me a little bit about workflow. Yeah, Derek, workflow is absolutely critical. And in this case, I'm using the DFE, EFI. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I've set up some different hot folders. So however my business card comes in, this is a tough one from Lauren. Uh, I could have a simple one. I'm gonna use those same hot folders to impose the business card maybe on an eight and a half by 11 job, or I wanna run production and I'm gonna run my 1218 300 GSM sheet, auto duplex. Uh, I'll use those hot folders. That will do all of the work for me. So I take my customer's file, I drop it in the appropriate hot folder, the press is ready. It's calibrated, auto density, paper registration, and we're printing and hopefully we're making money. That's great. So Brian, now I understand why you'd want to buy a Xerox production press versus the alternatives. So thank you for sharing that with Absolutely, me. Absolutely, Derek. Thank you.